I love you. Love you too. Eddie Bates. Can I get in on the love fest? I love you too. Oh my God, I love you guys too. Oh my God, stop. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Welcome to Backstage Beyond the Last. I could not be more excited. Two of my favorite people right here surrounding me. Uh-huh. I am super excited. Before I get into it, I want to say hey to my main Apple Scrap of my co-host, Eddie B. What's hey, ha- boo. What's happening, Nikki Moore? This is Eddie Bryant live here with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Backstage Beyond the Last. We at it again. We at it again. Yes, indeed. Now to the excitement. So you guys know former for one of the former co-hosts, we've been doing a bunch of stuff together <laughs> since whenever she started in this game, in this comedy game. And I have to say, I could not be more proud of, the, of, of my child, my comedy out. baby. <laughs> than I am today. I am super excited to introduce you to the one, the only, that's Eddie. Don't look at me, Shane. That's Eddie. (laughs) He always gets us in trouble. Actually, usually it's me. The one, the only, she is, wait, what do you, what do you, wait, let me see how they described you. Don't say, don't say. say. So they said, Frankie French is determined to bring more visibility to bisexual people through her <laughs> comedy. You know, I never knew this about you. you but did, though. Super, I, I mean, not like that this was your thing. I've never heard you tell that joke <laughs> until I heard you tell that joke. And oh. It was like so, like, oh yeah, my God, she came out. <laughs> but I didn't know. <laughs> but listen, Frankie is the 16th annual stand-up NBC winner. Yeah. In uh, among the ranks of Deion Cole, mm-hmm. Amanda Seals, yep. a few other people. Brandon T. Jackson. He's, okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know Brandon was uh-huh. one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's so many. So, so many. many. Yeah. The list goes on and on. And I'm, I'm so Sloan. proud of you. Yeah. And I'm so excited for you. Thank you. Not just, not just uh, like, am I brimming with pride? I'm like super excited about what you are about to embark on. Thank you. Just moved to LA. I did. Home for the week. We got the exclusive. Indeed. Yeah. You did. Yeah, Yeah, of course. And I'm like, well, talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. Yeah. So I didn't come out. Like I never, I've never been in the closet. It's just my, I feel like you were. No, I okay. wasn't. I openly dated women all this whole time. I'm Everybody say you came. Your out. husband is so lucky. <laughs> That's you I did? Was. I never knew that. I did. Everybody know anyone that spends any time around me, like personally, like not like you've never spent personal time around, but like hanging out. They know, like that's just not. It's never been well, a you secret. You haven't had a abroad in like the last ten years. I was dating someone a year and a half ago. Oh, I where was I? You ain't had pussy in a year. I mean, in a year and a half. I'm sorry, Shane. Mark that time, brother. Mark that time. I'm sorry. You you haven't heard. Uh, she has it all the time. In a year and a half. No, wow. I said dating. Oh, okay, dating. I didn't say I haven't slept so I with. Our <laughs> sexual people I have a lot of leverage. I thought you dated them. Yeah. So it, do you and like date them as a couple? In my world, it's called I mean, masculine tox. Tox, toxicity. Toxic masculinity. Masculine, toxic masculinity. That's what it's called when we do it. No, this is the thing. <laughs> so my husband and I have an ethically open relationship. So if he wants to date someone, he's free to do that. Shut up. No. This boy I did not what? know. He can't, that's, if he, I'm not, I'm barely ever, I told him when I left, I said, look, the only thing I ask, the only thing I ask is that you bag it up. Please bag do not get anybody pregnant. Flip and please don't bring down. any diseases. Like that's it. I, everything else, I don't care. There's no woman that's gonna come into our life that he's gonna walk away with. That's not gonna happen. Okay. Ever. No, it's never gonna happen. And no. I know a lot of people say never say never, but in my situation, I can confidently say it's not gonna happen. Well, I don't right. think so together either. because you're giving them the have, best of all worlds. They must have a body buried somewhere. <laughs> No, because why would you? If you had a woman who would no, allow yeah, you no, to have another no, woman. I'm not going anywhere. And, yeah, where you going? He ain't yeah. going nowhere. Why? And I'm, I'm an amazing cook. Like when I'm, you know what I mean? I take care of my family, you oh, know? That is so And I handle my funny. business. Why are, would you Are you doing leave? summer camps is what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm down to train some hoes. I, I train some hoes. I, I mean, 
I'm a oh, hoe. Can we say hoe? Can we say hoe, Shay? Shay sorry, like, Shay. I don't, sorry, think, Shay. I don't think we Could you also home. mark that time? <laughs> Shay, you might have a lot of boobs and nipples on it. You're going to do a little work. My bad. It's rough time. No. Uh, oh, my God. Are looking at us like, so, you guys. <laughs> to answer the question, I have a boot camp. I'll just put it that way. Okay. <laughs> I have a knock them boots camp. I've got. No. <laughs> I'm signing uh, up for a few. <laughs> I'm going to a few prospects. I'm, I'm scheduling scholarship Hilarious. funds immediately. Hilarious. <laughs> Listen, can I well, just I, say because guys, we can't get away with that. I just hey, baby, yeah. uh yeah. So I want us to have an open, you know, it's called next, ethically open. Ethically open, yeah. whatever you call, it, however you call it. I want something on the side, and then usually we end up uh with a bag with a PlayStation on <laughs> our arm, and we wait for our home to come pick us up. Or That's well, usually we... how they end up. For us. <laughs> Now, so well, this is the thing. I this was my bag. Mm -hmm. So when I met my husband twenty years ago, I was like, "Look, just so we're clear, I'm not gonna not date women. So you need to decide if you're cool with that, and if you are, you're free to do the same. You know." Mm -hmm. So what he was like, "What? Do you think? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I'd have found the a unicorn. Winner. <laughs> I would have played the number immediately." <laughs> Uh, what's your numbers today? What's your birthday? Mm. Shoot. Oh my so, God, you yeah. guys. So I, I don't know how I did not know this. And I feel like I know you as intimately you do. as anybody. You, I, swear, I just I don't, didn't know that I don't, about you. Yeah, I don't think, because it's not anything I talk about. It's like, no, it's not. It's not that I, I'm very, I mean, this is the first time I've even heard you say I've openly dated women. For I'm a like, year, for my whole life, it's a never. I've never not dated women ever. I feel, I feel... You feel left Deprived. out. No, I mean, it's just, it's not one, it's not a thing I talk about. Like, it's my personal private business. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know who you've dated. You know what I mean? I've met, you know, I've met oh, like true. a. That's true. Okay. You know what it I mean? So sense. it makes sense. Yeah. Like, we haven't gone into all I met was your husband. That's all I know. Yeah. All right. I know was the husband. But see, like, this, when I read the bio, I was like, <laughs> wait a minute, is she putting this in here? So, uh, okay, but I'm telling NBC I'm dropping my sex tape. Is that the person <laughs> though? Because. <laughs> I am dying. Not <laughs> okay, you hear me? This, this regular comedy life. No, we gotta do stuff. I'm telling you, you hilarious. Do drastic. But I mean, it's, it's just a thing. I never hit. I never came out. I never hit it. The only time I ever came out was to my daughter because I wanted to start talking about it in my comedy. Yeah, and she comes to my shows a lot, and I didn't want her to be freaked out. Like, wait a minute, what? That's you what know. I heard in the room, mom. Right. <laughs> so I sat her Why down. Is, so aunt Pam is Becky? not really my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh no right you know what is aunt pam doing in the bed with you and daddy i mean you know oh does that part wait yeah. a what man, yeah, man i'm gonna take your husband to lunch but i'm gonna figure out how <laughs> my husband is, is, is a, he's a pimp don't even get that confused oh, okay. like he's smooth with it I you know, know. his bottom what you his bottom bro oh, he's we're each other's bottoms yeah straight like oh, he's that your bottom bro too yep straight like that <laughs> get straight out there and get me some <laughs> get out there so talk to me about this uh new phase that you're about to embark on what is the most exciting part of this for you and when has it really hit you has the reality no not yet? no i mean even you know i can't talk really talk a whole lot about what i'm doing but <clears throat> the stuff that nbc is putting in front of me is I don't know. It's like it's like it's not happening to me. You know mm. what I mean? Because it's so big. Yeah. You get huge. what I mean? Yeah. And that you know, I'm I'm thinking that I'm going to be doing these, you know, little things. You know, kind of easing my way in. And they're like, oh no 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 no, we're we want to push you in with both feet here. All you know, we want you, right. You're the total package, though. You are. Thank you. I appreciate yeah, that. You know absolutely. why? Because you're Caucasian. <laughs> oh, ancient transracial? Man, I, boy, I got to get more diverse. So wait a minute. You, you, you bi, and you transracial. Yeah, yep. she bi, and, and I got and, and, and I have a hell of a story. My backstory is bananas. Let's yeah. Talk about yeah. So let's talk about the So for the people that don't know Oof. Frankie Ringes, what's like the backstory? My growing, I mean, it's crazy. So I'll try to, to kind of go through it a little you know, in a kind of a big picture. Mm -hmm. So, cause it's, there's a lot of nuances to it. Right. So, uh, so I was born, my mom left me in the hospital, mm -hmm. uh, and just rolled out. And, uh, then my grandmother came and got me. So she, she gave me to my grandmother. I'm putting quotes around that. Cause she just like left me, you know, she had kids before me and, and after me, uh, and she just didn't want me, you know what I mean? So oh. was she on drugs? 
Yeah, different parts of her life, yes, but she had a lot of mental health issues. She was abused. You know what I mean? She had a rough yeah. run too. Yeah. You know, and I didn't really get that until I grew up right. and became a mom and got my own therapy, you know, and kind of healed from my own stuff. Let her off the hook. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and I was there with her when she died, like literally in her last moment. And I was able to, she, she woke up from her coma. And I was the only one there. Mm. And I was able to tell her, you know, I forgive you and it's okay. And right. you can go peacefully. Mm. You know, she Did died. Did she like, say anything? She cried and, and said, thank you. Because she she knew, she mm. knew how she treated me. You know, mm. she tried to murder suicide me when, when I was like nine. Whoa. You know, she took a bunch of sleeping pills mm. and told me we we're going to go get ice cream and put me in the car and just drove until she crashed. Wow. You know. <sighs> So, you know, so yeah, so and my sis, I had a sis, another sister, same father as me, the only two that have the same mom and dad, and she was kidnapped by my father. So I didn't even know she existed until I was like eight. Is that the one I met? Yes, that's the one you met. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, my backstory is like, you know, I grew up in white suburbia, but my house inside was hood. You know, mm -hmm. it was the hood. Deep, mm -hmm. deep trauma was happening inside my house. Lucky you. <laughs> yeah, because all that pain is you so blow well up. rounded. <laughs> I'm all ready for the movie. But when is lifetime going to be so well rounded? Yeah. Like I mean, yeah, you can't I... be all white or all black to to really have the the whole total package and the full right. experience. You gotta have lived a little bit of both. Right, you have to live a little bit of both. That's you know gonna I mean? make you win big. That's dope. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm down yeah. for a win. I'm super down for you it. Know, too. I, my mommy could use a win. <laughs> Are we talking about? Uh... Look, get your mind back. <laughs> oh, say, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Was... This is my comedy mind. I understand. Edward. I'm sorry. Edward get is your mind name. back in the game. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm just trying to just listen. To, I, was I don't know most of that nasty I was stuff. Listening he saw your to... short haircut. Was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, on a second. On. Be -be I think I understand what this is yes, now. Yeah, I'm no. getting there. I'm, I'm learning. I'm trying to learn. No, no, no. Yeah. no. no. This is family. So yeah, so my my upbringing was like that. My my grandmother raised me, yes, and so she raised me mostly in New York. And my grandma used to run numbers for the mafia, Ooh. right? She was get. My grandma was dope. She was mm. get. She did not. Her name is Celestine Lowe. They used to call her CeeLo on the street. Oh man, Grandma CeeLo. Grandma was CeeLo. And they got a Cee dice game named after your grandmother. Hmm. They that got that a dice game named behind, after straight behind like that. The story of the game. Straight. You never played CeeLo? No. It's three dice instead yeah, of two. Yeah, three dice instead of two. Yeah. yeah. Straight like that. It's a New York yeah. game. It's a wow. New York. Yeah, it's a New York game. Straight like that. So my grandma was CeeLo, and she and she would have me take a little bag, you know, a little rolled up paper bag. And I'd run it down to the, the bodega <laughs> on the corner. I didn't know what I was doing, though. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And everybody, you know, and I walked out. Oh, that's CeeLo's brand. You know, people would protect me and make sure, you know, I got from. And I was like, how come I could walk down the street five, six years old and don't nobody say I mess with me? You know, and because she was, you know, connected, you know. So people would make sure I got to where I was going. Yeah. But as my mother was trying to raise her other kids, she was never in a in, right. She was never right. She was never mm -hmm. in a good space. So my at one point, my grandmother packed up. And we came to Virginia and stayed with my mom. So mm -hmm. I was like my grandmother's daughter. My grandmother was helping my mother. Mm -hmm. And so I kind of got like left by the way, you know what I mean? Kind of left to raise myself, even though my yeah. grandmother loved me dearly mm -hmm. and would do anything for me. But her, my mother was her daughter. Right. You know, so right. she had to make sure her crazy, right. Right. you know, inappropriate daughter was okay. Yeah, you that's, know? A lot. that's a lot too. Just, right. You know, you, know, you yeah. run your business and then you have a mental health issue right. with one of your kids so you got to pay attention to that so right yeah, that's understandable and that was about when i turned eight when my grandfather died of pancreatic cancer mm -hmm. so you know we left new york for the most part she still had her brownstone there but we you know we and we kind of be back and forth and my mother's house was just it was just bananas like mm -hmm. it was just the wild west and my uncle moved in and he was an alcoholic Wow. And uh, yeah, and he like busted my room one night, Dang. middle of the night, with a big butcher knife. And I don't even, I really couldn't tell you how I'm sitting here right now. Because he came in, in the middle of the night and I'm asleep and he just started stabbing Ooh. with a butcher knife. Yeah. Stabbing who? Stabbing my, trying to, I guess trying to stab me. I don't oh know what he was, God. but he, he, every stab missed me. Wow. Every single, and wow. he was, yeah, like it's only the grace of God. God it's is only, real. only, oh, he's real. You know, when people, have questions about their I'm like I don't know what to tell you because mm. God's real right. you know what I mean he's really real and when I, to the point where when I looked the next day it looked like he mm. had like cut out a cut out of my body you know what I mean like the, the stab marks were a perfect outline of where wow. I was laying 
you know, all around my shoulders. And has, so that's how I grew up. You can't even up. make that kind of no. stuff up. No, 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 no. You have no. to be super creative to come no. up with no, that. No, 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 no. No, I grew Jeez. up in, in severe Crickets. trauma. You know, mm. my mom had boyfriends, you know, that were in and out, that would beat her up. I came home from school one day from like <clears throat> third or fourth grade and, I wa- and no one mm. would open the door. So I had to mm. like get in through a window. And when I get in, nobody's home. Nobody's answering me. And I see a trail mm. of my mom's hair. Wow. That had been ripped out of her head, just a trail, hair and blood, right? So now I'm like, oh my God, mom, somebody's dead, you know? And I get upstairs and I find my mom naked, bald mm. on the floor, and my stepfather at the time kicking her with his Ooh. boots, you know? So that's what, that's what I grew up in, mm. you know what I mean? It's just, it was constant Dang. trauma all the time, like day to day. Wow. And I'd have to go to school and pretend like, you know, everything's okay. Cause I was terrified to tell anybody, mm. you know, and I was all, all the time just waiting for someone to come save me, you know, and I had to I ultimately had to save myself, mm. you know? So, wow. yeah. So that's what I come from. So now I have my family, you know, I have my daughter who is amazing. A bit of a comedian herself. She, my daughter's hilarious. She's funny. Yeah. She's funnier than me. You know what I mean? She and, and and her dad's funnier than me too. Yeah, you know. So yeah. and I I love them. You know, that's their my entire world. I couldn't do anything that I do without them. You know, she's my heart and he's my support. That's beautiful. Yeah, I thought she was like, gonna say he's my soul. Oh uh, yes. Yeah. That would have uh, been, so been better. Dang. Well, so can sure. we rewind? Can we cut that? That's again. Right. <laughs> she's my heart. <laughs> no, let's say. I mean, that's they, a great tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we got social media on with us. And uh, by the time this show actually airs, you guys will not be live. But if you have any questions for our 16th annual Stand Up NBC. Okay. NBC's homegrown celebrity <laughs> superstar, Thanks. Frankie French. Yep. Please say it on uh, the screen. And if you have any questions for my uh, illustrious co-host, Mr. Eddie Bryant, Please ask it. What's happening? I got a question. Who lined you up, Eddie? Because I'm you just over here handsome. You know, what I'm you, know you just sit over here handsome. I appreciate it. Go see Miss Wanda on. Uh, <laughs> Not Miss Wanda. Wanda's on seven. Ma- Wanda did Wanda, your hair. That's my, you know, I know Wanda. That's, you know, that's family. You know. Yeah. So yeah, I, I always her. support she's her businesses, and, and and she's always been in the community about the community. So she uh, is always right behind uh, Howard Theater. Yeah, she's right by the Howard Theater. Well, Miss Wanda's like that. Thank you. And so sit, fellas. What's the name of the salon? Wanda's on Wanda's. Let's okay. say it again, because I know, especially some comics mm, <laughs> that need that. I'm not gonna. Up. I'm not gonna say a name. Uh, and my, Can yeah. we show Eddie Shaper? Oh, yeah. Let's show. Yeah, Eddie let's show Shaper. it. Show and it's Eddie a gentleman's Shaper. temp. Mm-hmm. You know let's what I mean? Show it's a gentleman's temp. Shaper. Eddie always messing with me about my shape up too. <laughs> you might want to go talk to Miss Wanda. That's all I'm saying. You Wanda hit you up Wanda. nice on the curb there. Yeah. yeah, and she got that temp like yeah. that's that's what I'm talking yeah. about. So hey, now, Greg Stevens. Found, found my new, found my new. Uh, yeah, you know, Miss Wanda is always. Um, She's always coming to shows. She's always oh, that's what's up. She's super supportive. You know her. Yeah, you, she she has blonde a... hair. Remember we did the high. I do know nice her. I love her. That's, that's her. I know that's exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. She's a beauty. Yes, she she's a beauty. Yeah. I love yeah. her. So she's, she's all, so you know, kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always yeah. support her. Shout um, out to Wanda. Her, her shop. Yeah. You know, because they, they really tried to push her business out. Mm-hmm. And she stood her ground. She stood her ground. In. That's what. So right. go su- seriously. Go support black business. That's right. She yeah. does a good job, she and she's a Thank wonderful you. person. And it's and diverse. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, people, beauticians and yeah. barbers, oh, all that's what's and, up. and masseuse, all of that. And, oh, so I can go right. yes, and get go. a rub down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do, yeah, they, do so they do disgusting. weeds? No, yeah. not that kind no, of. They do do weeds. They do. They do. Not they a do rub everything. and tug. I said a rub. Down. I'm sorry. Mark that Wait, time. Mark that time. Tug? I'm you sorry. Mark that time. Oh my God! They're killing me. Sorry, Shane. That was them. Shane's right. head just goes back. Good this time. You so guys can't see our producer. Shane just goes back like that. He's like, oh Lord, God, wait, my bad. My it's only the Negroes when the Negroes come on. <laughs> this is DC Radio. We government, y'all. I mean, yeah, we're gonna make look, you earn that check I tell today, people all the, I tell people all the, I have not lived a clean life, so uh, don't expect one. Don't mm-hmm. yeah, don't expect me to talk clean. True. Sorry. Let me tell you something. People who use curse words are the most trustworthy, fun people. I on the am planet. smart, so I must be a, a genius. Yes. You are. You are. <laughs> I'm telling you, and intelligent. Thank you. 
So, Frank, Frankie Knuckles, that's what I call you. No, I was trying to get ready to say Ella. Knuckles. So, Frankie. Yes. What is your ultimate hope for your career? I don't I don't have hopes. I have goals that I'm going to reach. Okay, describe that trajectory. So, uh, so like my big lofty, like the way up here thing. Yeah, I want to be an egot. Period. End yeah. of story. Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, Tony. Oh, no, Grammy, just, Oscar, yeah. Tony. Okay, Grammy. <laughs> egot. I, so, can you bring me in Eddie school, so to every every premiere? Every, yeah, yeah. Y'all come we're, all we're stuff. Come. Good. We we are. We are. Yeah, y'all gonna y'all gonna come. I like that. Yeah, yeah. come like all the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we come, come to, to come to everything. the events. So and talking we about. just got to be in the room. Got gotcha. you. All right. We, talk about, we just got to be in the room. Yeah, right. in, yeah. Put them in the shows. Stuff. Put them yes. in the movies. Well, of course. Everything. Everything. Okay. Eddie and so I work very well together. See, yes, we Eddie works yeah, well Eddie and I work very well together. Guy. Now it's his homeboy Joe Claire. I ain't fooling with him. Oh Ooh. come on! <laughs> no, I love. This is the thing. I love. No, he Eddie, hates, look at his face. Show Eddie's face. He I mean, hates I, whenever you do anything like that. Yeah, like what? We're, we're, Talk I about other people. Well, he yeah, hates cause, it. Yeah, because oh. we're not here to defend. No, no. So. She, oh no! She's I'm kidding. joking. I know she's joking. I'm joking. But, I'm know. joking. I love him. Yeah. You, you remember the time on your show? I, I had to. I was going up, and then he showed up, and you're like, Frankie, you gonna you gonna follow Joe? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. He's like mother, father. And then no, I was like, cool. Mother I can follow father. anybody. I don't care if it's Chappelle. Well, guess what? I cannot follow Joe Clinton. Uh, I, look, when I say I heard, I got my feelings hurt. <laughs> Which one was? Oh man, I, don't I can't. Remember. I can't remember what show. It was hilarious though. Yeah, and ever since then, Joe's been very kind to me. He's very, very sweet. And we worked together uh, yeah. relatively. You were there with uh, Carl Payne. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, comedy okay. loft. Yeah. Okay. And, and I got my, I got my get, not my get back, but I, I stood my, I ha- handled my own business. But can night. I say, yeah. like Frankie is, and I, and kudos to you for this. And this is part of the reason that we're even having the superstar conversation that we're having today is Frankie has never been afraid to jump out there like you know how you see new comedians and joe claire go up that's all right yeah, i don't want to go home go. frankie like i don't oh, care she yeah. like I remember, but, that. But, yeah. we went, we'll, we'll be marble. devastated though she will oh, I, I was devastated like but, but i was up there swinging my yeah, punches yeah. you know and, and i have what? that material <laughs> yeah. she don't care if nobody laughs <laughs> no, no, they didn't she laugh owns her no, material. they did not laugh 100 percent. they did not laugh and that's what it takes though yeah that is the intestinal fortitude that is necessary for you to succeed in yes. this in this craft because yeah. it's difficult. That's right. Well, and we call difficult. it on the man side, we call it testicular fortitude. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, there you go. Uh, shame. Yes. Hey. Hilarious. <laughs> Listen, I am so excited. My, I don't a... know if this was gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> that's another time you might want to mark that Shane, time. Mark yeah. that Shane time too. Oh that's, that's that's the thing now on this show. <laughs> Anybody listen? We got a few people online watching. <laughs> if you're out there. Please, um, <laughs> if you have any questions or comments for Frankie Knuckles, the 16th annual Stand Up NBC winner, soon to be EGOT. I, yes. Drop them. Drop them. I have a question. Yeah. I'd like to know for for, for other uh, artists. Absolutely. How were you able to focus in on, how were you able to focus in on your goals and set proper goals to have a level of accomplishment over your time because Mm -hmm. sometimes you can get in this business and get on a hamster wheel absolutely and i was on one okay you know i was on one for a long time and my husband kept telling me he's like babe stop worrying about what's happening in dc branch out just focus on you and what you want to do branch out and just go into other markets you're not gonna you're not gonna you don't want to be the big man on campus just for dc and i'm like well it's my city and i love and so i spent a lot of time just focused on Mm -hmm. what was happening in Mm -hmm. dc what can i get out of you know and i was on a hamster wheel and i started getting that road though baby i did well yeah a lot lot of things happened you know and i was getting a lot of doors closed here you know the the better i started doing that's what happened the more doors start yeah the more doors started closing oh welcome to my world yeah 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 you know and i was like huh and i was like you know what i'm gonna take charles his advice i'm gonna start and i was already in in new york you know and i would go up there like once a month mm-hmm. i said mm-hmm. you know what i'm just gonna start working in new york only mm-hmm. i'm just gonna stop booking here I, i'm not gonna work here and the minute i do that did that and started focusing out there i was getting spots that people covet 
and New York, you know. Mm-hmm. And then I got the Kennedy Center and I got, you know what I mean? All the, And that's the funny thing. I got that Kennedy Center spot is for a festival that's here and booked here in D.C. Mm-hmm. I got my booking from the stuff I was doing in New York. Nice. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Think about that, though, yeah. for a minute. Yeah. Think about that. Why didn't my city, this this festival happens every year. It's been happening for years since mm-hmm. not, late, late 90s or yeah. something like that. And and I know the people that run the festival, and they know me. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what, what festival is that? Uh, um, Benson Ball. Oh, the Benson okay. Ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tig Notaro's festival. But they're not from here. No, the people that run it are here. Is, yeah, yeah. Right, right as young things. Somewhere else. No, oh, okay. it's, it's here. It started here. The people, you know, the people. I, know, I don't yeah. know who they are, but I know who's always in it. Right. You know what I mean? But but my whole thing was, why didn't my city ho- holler at me? You know what I mean? I had to. And it's funny because I got the booking because the woman that was booking this particular show, the future headliner show, asked in an all, all women's group, the mm. New York women's group, hey, who, what women based in D.C.? are hot and can headline. Wow. And like 11 <clears throat> different comics out said of New York Frankie, said Frankie, Frankie French. French. Frankie French. Because front of low in there. And the thing about the New York scene is, though it is shrewd, mm-hmm. they respect artistry and the people who are dedicated yep. to the craft. A hundred percent. I can agree with that. you know, it's not, a, it's not necessarily click. It's, it, I don't want to say clickish, but it's like that's the tribe. It's like we're all true to this art form. Right. And then when you're from such and such and you're from then, oh, I re- your database is like, oh, here. Mm-hmm. Whereas here, everybody's only seeing this one slice of bread. Right. right? And everybody's trying to get a piece of this slice of bread, mm-hmm. not really celebrating yeah. each other while right. we're here. Right. And so, you know, it gets a bit crabby. And so, you know, and it, this market for a long time, you know, though uh, there are a lot of artists in here, um, it's just uh, misguided. Agreed. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because you have a lot of vets that didn't necessarily um, get over the hump. Mm-hmm. And so they're still in the way. Mm-hmm. And then you have a lot of youngins that think they know everything. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. So- and they kind of like mess up. Mm. Um, industry protocol in order for 100%. everybody to grow. Yes, you know, so agreed. Like in a, you know. So when you say they're in the way, what exactly do you mean? Well, when someone's in the way, so so take a take a take a veteran that's been in the game. I don't know, twenty years, mm-hmm. and they still have these. $100 room, $25 room, $50 room. And so the people that they're doing business with said venue, bar, club, uh, will take that veteran who's been doing it for business and leverage it against a person that's on their way up. And the person on the way up and say, hey, I'm worth more than this $100 you're trying to give me, Correct. Mm-hmm. right? And so the veteran can't necessarily see the bigger picture because they've been in this small mm-hmm. pond for so mm-hmm. long. So the the picture only looks as big as they've only seen. What you was just talking yeah. about. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So so the veteran is in the way yeah. of the youngin being able to bust this mm-hmm. whole thing mm-hmm. yeah. open mm-hmm. on that side. Mm-hmm. Right? Um the youngin the flip there's there's a yin and yang to all of that in my opinion. So the youngin goes to the club and takes the same hundred dollar deal and then calls a veteran and says, Hey, come do my spot for 75 bucks. Mm -hmm. And then the veteran is like, no, I just told that club they need to pay me 500 bucks Mm -hmm. to come. Uh Right. So now you got a youngins with a whole bunch of youngins on the show. They're bringing out all of these audiences and the show isn't as polished. So the audience isn't getting a full, a real show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then their perception of what comedy is yeah. is now downgraded. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so way, the cycle is just, down. you know, versus letting, you know, you 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 have to take the, the youngest that are giving advice to the old heads, the old heads got to take that advice, right? right? And then the old heads is giving youngins advice because they've been where they are. Mm-hmm. They have to take that into mm-hmm. consideration mm-hmm. as well. And you have to, for the old heads, they really have to raise the youngins. Right. And the youngins really have to take 
what the old heads have accomplished, mm -hmm. not necessarily with a grain of salt, but respected because right. Right. when time goes, you'll be that person. Right. right. And you're giving that person your, you your butt to kiss. <laughs> yeah. You know, and you're like, oh, guess who's coming behind you? And the whole the whole other part of this in this industry that we do is we count people out. You know, we we give oh. up five minutes before the miracle happens. Yeah. And then we sit back looking like, oh, I wish I had a, you know. Right. Yeah. And there's so much of the regret that can only be attributed to pettiness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's Agreed. so unnecessary. If we would be a collective, like when I first started, and I say this every time, Eddie was one of the people who held my hand and just directed me. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm humble. I'm humble. So I will listen. Even now. I yeah. will listen because I don't know everything. Right. And the greatest room in the world is the room for improvement. Right. Oh, the day yeah. say that again. I say that again. More than yeah. I need to know, or as much as I need to know, it's going to be the day I'm I'm going down. And, that, and that goes vice versa because yeah. the things that I don't know that you taught me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like. You know, I, you don't know. Nobody knows it all, yeah. but right. you know what you know. Right. Right. right? Exactly. right. And so when you see somebody, you're like, oh, look, I got this room. And I'm like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Hold on. Right. Listen, like, oh, you think you know everything. Like, no, no. not that you yeah. know everything. Yeah. But this I know. This, I know this I, thing. This right. thing right here. Yeah. I know what you're, yeah. you're embarking on. And That's so right. you don't want to. I'm for the artist. Yeah. Agreed. Right? Yeah. And so whenever I go into said venue or producing said show, no, for me, I'm like artist first. That's mm -hmm. right. And the then, craft. okay, boom, I'm going to make sure you make some money. That's right. right. But, it's the craft. Yeah. And right. I respect that because so many times he has kept me from settling for a bad deal. Yeah. You know, and I'm a deal maker. Right. You know, and like, remember we were going to do that room Man. and the guy wanted us to pay. I was like, well, no, no, we're not spending no money. <laughs> <laughs> we're not no, doing that. No, yeah. No, not to make him some money. And he spend was right. Right. Cause right. I went right next door mm -hmm. and got a better venue for free. See? Right. Yeah. Yep. yeah. And I'm like, so you have to stay open. And I just, I love your path. And, yeah. and I can you. say that I know your path and I've watched you. I've watched you like step back and regroup. And yeah, I've done that a couple of times. Stand so I'm like, in the yeah. corner. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, and and but at the same time, you you held true to yourself. Yes. You have not altered your personality. No. Nope. You have not altered your look, which I'm disappointed in. You have <laughs> not. You have not. <laughs> You have see, not given up. Again, as a male, <laughs> I can never say that. And here, that's a, okay. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. But here, she has promised me I can do it. But here, make, like, hold on a second. I, I want to speak. Love. Let me speak on that, though. <laughs> When I need to get it together, I get it together. You, you know what I mean? You get it together, but you, you, I you wanna, have to get I'm in, style. I, this is the thing. I'm in, I was, I've been in hustle mode this yeah, entire time. Like, yeah, I, I, I'm on the yeah, block yeah. slinging them things. That's right. Maybe mark That's that time, right. too. I apologize. <laughs> but my point is... But things in this case are jokes. Keep right. that in. That's, that's what I'm saying. But you, yeah. you, you know you had the dope boys yeah, in the know, corner back know, in the day. They'd be in sweats and bummy for, for the whole weekend. You better know it. Cause, so I do the same thing. I'm grinding right now. There's something to be said about somebody who is true to their game. Yeah, yeah, and, and that worked for me. That's right. You know? It's working for you. Right. It and it worked work. for me it's because working. it was never about what I looked like. I yes. didn't want my comedy yeah. to be anything about yeah. that. It has nothing to do with that. I'm funny and I'm talented. You you're going to get these you jokes yeah. regardless of what I look yeah. like. And you're going to like it. And, and people you own do. It. You owned it. Right. And you scared every white comedian in Listen. <laughs> and and look, like, they oh. could be in the back of the room with their eyes closed. They're like, who is that? <laughs> She's black. <laughs> <laughs> She's black. That's it. cool, though. That's hilarious. That's but, cool. So, anytime this is a little inside joke, me and Frankie, anytime I have trouble. <laughs> You know how we get intimidated, and mm. I, when I say we, it's the proverbial we because not me, right. but black people. We get intimidated <laughs> when it comes to doing business with the whites. Mm. Sometimes, and yeah. Not yes. all of us, yes. but yes. for yeah. the most part. For, for mo I get what you're saying. Yes, I part. agree. So I, I was agree. working with this person, <laughs> this is a celebrity, and their manager is a hood rat. And like you know, I needed somebody because we were. She needed ready to a do white a woman thing. to tighten that situation. I needed somebody up. to step to him, and you know, because he doesn't listen to. Yeah, he yeah. So <laughs> I had Frankie call. <laughs> tightened it right on up. What? Yes, I tightened it right on up. Frankie 
he just said so she only said what did you say like two words two words yeah. two words like so is there a problem yeah <laughs> just no, no 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 i'm just saying you right. know just simple simple yeah it's very really? simple it's very simple problem solved. very simple problem solved he tightened right on up yeah, yeah before it was like this whole ordeal it was a un- everything you know yeah. they always have much to do about nothing everything was they gotta up. be important note to self yeah, yeah. yeah. Call Frank call yeah Frank. I, I'm, I'm down I said, anytime I need a white woman to, to call, regulate. I'm calling you. Black business. Yes. Okay. Call me. Call he, me. Because he hadn't yeah. seen it. I know he was so disappointed when he saw her. He was like, girl, you black. <laughs> like black, black. You out too. Yeah. <laughs> I could have continued to flex. <laughs> right. Oh, oh, hold on. One thing before I get out of here, I want to be very clear that I love my city. Yeah. DC raised me, you know what I mean? And that yeah. and that's very real. Yeah. And I could not be of in the course. position that I am without DC. It yeah. gave me the stage time I needed to polish. Right. You know, I, I took two years at one point when I when <clears throat> people were, were telling me that I wasn't funny. They, I, I was like, I am funny. I know mm-hmm. that I'm funny. Mm-hmm. And so I took two years and I was working a regular job at the time. Yeah. And I would go to work in the morning. I'd mm-hmm. come home real quick, make yeah. my daughter dinner. And I'd go out every single night. And I would go to two, three, four, sometimes five mics every night, seven nights a week, two years straight, you know? And so, cause I wanted to get, people were telling me, you can't, you can't do that. That's, you can't do that that fast. Yeah. I yeah. said, oh yes, I, I can. I remember that. That was like six months in though. That was like six months so in, yeah. So I would put her on them shows I was doing. And remember I used to let you open every show. Yeah. And they were like, don't put Mark and Frenchie up no more. She, mm-hmm. They not funny. I was like, listen, the child is funny. No, Mark is another story. But the child is funny. <laughs> Leave, Mark. Look at Eddie. Look at Eddie's Mark. face. He hates it. Mark is my brother. Leave. Mark. I love Mark. Mark you're you know amazing. Mark is mean to me. Because it always yeah, ends up he's like, mean it, to me. The, I would be mean to you too. No, you would. I'm only Eddie, mean to give him because I'm a, he's I'm mean a, that, to me. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I, you know what I'm saying? It's hard out here. Oh no. Pressure. Mark is not nice. Nikki, I love you so much. <laughs> but if we're going to talk about but you be put Greg your Steve foot said, Greg Steve Steve said, said, so Frank and Prince is 2020 baby D <laughs> <laughs> facts Greg that is facts <laughs> Who's, wait, Greg Stevens. who is Baby D? Though? You don't know Baby D. You don't I know do nothing. Are you talking about the D. rapper? No, Baby D from Friday, next Friday. You don't know <laughs> nothing about Baby D. Uh, she do hair, sell dope. And Greg Stevens is funny. Uh, funny. You know what? Talk. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, thank you, Greg. I'll take that as a compliment. Yes, thank you, is. Greg so, Stevens. Thank you, boo. Thank you. <laughs> What's up with your cousin? She Queen? ride or die too. Frankie is ride or die. Yeah. I'm going through a little divorce business. Yes. Yes. She's yeah. Like, Ew. We hate her. Do it in white girl. Ew. Gross. <laughs> you <just> talk about <laughs> and Charles. You know, I'm, I'm gonna just say Charles like it too because sometimes you know I be talking different. You know, what I'm talking about. <laughs> so uh, Shane, Shane, okay. Shane, so, Shane, <laughs> Shane, just when human resources call, just, just, just tell them. <laughs> I was chilling, okay? Because I don't want to get security to come. Because they usually take the black man out first. I thought I was very ambiguous yeah. with my statement. But I, I, I thought, thought so too. It was very ambiguous. But I Perhaps thought... he's talking about the intellectuals that'll be listening. Because <laughs> the average... At midnight, you know, you know what's going on. <laughs> what they say on the radio? Yeah, right. What they, what they say? Hold up. Hold I'm up. trying back to give... Up. I'm giving advice that can save marriages right now. Oh. I'm doing the Lord's work, so... Hallelujah. You know, you don't want to listen to me, don't. Listen, but I'm telling I, I you. I think it's dope. I personally think it's dope, and you don't know that about me, but I do not subscribe to the idea Traditional that idea. a person can only ever be attracted no, to one other person. That's not real. Life, oh, well, even at the same time. That's well, not I just real. Don't. I'm going to look back at my timeline <laughs> for both of y'all, because the, obviously you I have the wrong, wrong one, algorithm. Man. I haven't found my Charles, though. I have okay. not found my Charles. Finding because a... it takes a specific kind Very of dude specific. That's true. to be able to manage that relationship. But, yeah. For but, sure. No, because with men, men even get jealous of other women. Yes. You know that. Absolutely. Huh? <laughs> Matthew, but I'm saying they do. It, it, hold on, that means it's four and then two, whatever. <laughs> huh? <laughs> And we can get jealous this of other women. Yeah, I, I pay. I pay the mortgage, and you would oh, be so, you, so well, happy. I don't want to say that. I like your husband, my friend. But so you the man? Wait a minute. No, no you pay no. the mortgage. No, we have. So I, historically, through our relationship, I've made more money. Yeah. And it's not it's not a big deal. That's my that's my husband. I'm his wife. It's not at all a big deal. It's not an issue in our relationship. It's not a problem. Yeah, and I'm just so, like, 
Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's my stuff. It's his stuff. His stuff is my stuff. And when I didn't have it, because the mm-hmm. last couple of years, I have not had yeah. it. He held our whole family down and did yeah. whatever he needed to do to make sure that we didn't yeah. lose our house. My daughter's situation didn't change and anything I needed, I was able to do it. You know, and, and I can say this. This is one of the things that I will always be loyal to him. Even if we separate, he's always going to be taken care of. Mm-hmm. Always and forever. And because when we were at our lowest point, and like the lights got cut off once, and I was like, "Oh, you know what I mean." I had to call you for help. One, you know what I mean. Once, yeah, you yeah, and you sent me money like immediately. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you know. And when things like that were happening, he never ever said you need you got to quit that comedy and get a real job. Right, right. He right. never he said he that. He you. never said that. He said <laughs> he said he he, he would always tell me, "Calm down, it's gonna be okay. You got this. You're gonna blow. Don't even trip. We're just in this situation right now." So I'm he, gonna do. He always had the vision. He always saw it before, yeah. even when I didn't see it. Right. You know when and I was. That's a blessing to have somebody like that in it your is, life. Because, it is. It is. Because when you're a dreamer, yes, and you have a person that is that is yeah. that can see. I can see the dream. Yeah. What? Man, you can win. And you can win for sure. Mine. Win like that's why I couldn't stay married when I decided to embark on this path. Mm-hmm. And see, he had I'm, no I'm idea. the flip. I feel no like I need to be alone. And get to a certain level, and then to be able to provide. Because as a man, you have to provide. Well, you know, uh, you don't have to. Either that, or you're the woman in the relationship. No, 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 that's not true. You have to have a helpmate. Yeah, that's not true. That's the difference. See, and the problem in in society now is people are so short sighted. Yeah, like if you had somebody supporting you, Eddie, Mm -hmm. in that way, I think that your 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 um your strive would be different. Okay. Like you you wouldn't have to struggle. You okay. wouldn't. You, yeah, you would be free creatively right. to focus on the main thing. Yeah. Okay. You know, when you got to worry about how you're going to eat, how you're going to pay your rent, how you're going to get your card thing, and, you know, it's struggle. Yeah. And that takes away from the creative. Mm-hmm. And you don't have to be alone because you're struggling. If you meet somebody who's, who's okay where you are right now, because mm-hmm. my right now is not where I'm going to be. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, and I mean, my right I'm now. I'm going to think about that. I'm going to hear something. Yeah, about. think yeah. about that because there's nothing yeah, wrong with that. Yeah, because people are so pretentious, but then you got to look at, like, what you're looking for too yeah you know and gender That's, roles are, are fluid right now you know what i mean gender roles are fluid you know what i mean so for y'all <laughs> I'm ahead of I'm the last. Look, I, don't, I don't know about that. No, no what, 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 what I, I want a fluid man. No, I'm tell you that. Yeah, I need yeah, him to be yeah, all, all the man. No, listen to what I listen. Hear what I'm saying. I have all the money. I I'm know ta- how to make money. I can teach you how to make I'm money. I'm not talking about sexuality. I'm talking oh. about the roles yeah, of gender. You know what I mean? Drag it by I'm talking about the roles of gender. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you have to be comfortable. It's fine if you have a, a young lady that you meet, y'all fall in love, and she's quote unquote funding your dream. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that yeah. because if you have yeah. a, the right relationship, like, hear me out. I'm listening. If your relationship is right and tight, when you get to the where you're going, she's not gonna have to worry about nothing. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's right. really what it is. It's an right. investment. Right. Okay. That's an investment okay, into that's your that, collective I'm gonna, I'm, future. I'm gonna think about that. I'm gonna go to church on Sunday. I'm gonna pray on it. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. Tell Pastor pray for me too. And you know the doors saying? of the so church are open. Talk to Pastor Matthew. So I got, I'm a, I got about five more minutes of fun. All right. Oh. So Frankie, what's next? What's uh, what's next? I'm gonna do these shows. Uh, what when does this come out? Midnight Saturday. on Saturday. Oh, so it'll be over. So I will have done the shows. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And then Sunday morning, I go back to LA. I have uh, meetings, and you're actually following me yep, out there because we I have am. meetings uh, next am. week yep. to kind of tie up um, the rest of this thing. Yeah, we're figuring out the rest of the rest of the team is the is the initial lock goal. it down, baby. And then yeah. I'm gonna lock in this TV role real fast. Boom, superstar and, um, TV. And I can say this: uh, NBC is going to work with me to develop my own show. Good. Uh, yeah, they're going to put me with their development team once pilot season's over. And you have a NBC holding deal yeah, that you can talk about. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so talk as about a, talk about the package, the prize package for winning the Stand Up mm-hmm. NBC. And this is that a historical year for Stand Up NBC because it's there the were first two winners. time yeah. ever in the history of Stand Up NBC mm-hmm. they had there were two winners. Really? Yeah. 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 And the people ask, like, why do you feel sharing the spot? You know, what? I'm not greedy. Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean, I can share the spotlight because I'm you, confident. You outshine him anyway. No, Renee Vaca is the bomb. That's I'm not. Saying yeah. you're funnier or none of that, but it's not about like, being funny. We don't talk about him. We talk about you. But no, he's kidding. dope, though. That's I'm yeah, kidding. that's the homie. See, he's dope. I'm a mess. <laughs> but that's the homie, and, he, alone, nigga. and he's right. <laughs> oh, where's the <laughs> fun in that? But here's here's the thing, though. People ask how I feel about it. You know, are you mad? No, I'm not mad. Why would you, you ever know? be mad? I, I'm not mad, and no. and I'm not mad because he deserved it. 
you know what I mean? And well, you know, it's not for me to say he deserved it, but what I can say is that in that final showcase, we were head to head. I'm not even, I can't even front. We, when I say we both slaughtered so that how, face. So how many levels was it? Four total. So I remember uh-huh. the first one, you was like, I'm going out here, da, 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 da. And then was that in New York, the first yeah. one? Mm-hmm. And then you you said, I won, I'm going to the next round. But it was kind of, talk about how you started on it. Yeah. Because it was by chance. It was just by chance. Yeah, you yeah. didn't even go No, I didn't have no intention. intention. No, I had no intention or even interest yeah. in auditioning. Yeah. So real quick, um, I had auditioned 2014, 15, 16, 17, right? When Glow is the one that turned me on to the ah, competition. You and remember she, Gloria. Yeah, Glow Butler. Mm-hmm. So she, she, you know, the, in, 2014, <laughs> in 2014, in 2014, <sighs> to my Mark LGBT, to my LGBT <laughs> people, uh, Shane, do you have anything to drink back there? <laughs> okay, just go ahead, just go mark go all go the ahead. time. Go just you know what? Just uh, maybe just, just scrap the whole no! thing. I'll just come back and re-record. <laughs> My bet. So, so real quick, let me, it's because it, it is kind of a cool story. So Glow turned me on to the thing, right? And when I very first saw it in 2014, I didn't know when, why, or how, but I had that gut feeling. I was like, that's my catalyst. I don't know why, but I feel like that's the thing I'm going to do to take my career to the next level, right? And so me being young in comedy and stupid, I was in a rush to get to it, right? So I'm like, I'm auditioning every year. And one of these years is going to just happen. Look. That's not how it works. Yes, you know, it and is. I was going in there. <laughs> it's not. I was going in there halfway. I was thinking, you know, well, I'm, you know, trying to really, because you only get one minute. You get 60 seconds that first interview, mm-hmm. that first wow. audition. Yes. So I'm like, I'm going to go in here. I'm just going to write the best 60. It doesn't, you can't, it, it doesn't do that, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And then people, other comments tell me that didn't get through, you know, all those years. It's rigged. You know, you have to have a manager or an agent. Mm-hmm. That's the only way that it's going to really happen because they got to have somebody lobbying for you mm-hmm. on the back end. And so after a while, I got discouraged. I'm like, well, I know I'm good. I know I'm funny, but I'm not passing through. It's rigged. It's not. And I know that for a fact because mm-hmm. I, right now, I don't have technically a manager or agent. I've never had anybody mm-hmm. lobbying for anything. Everything I do is just off of my, the people I know, mm-hmm. you know, my, mm-hmm. my work ethic, yeah. my ability. It's never anyone lobbying in the background for yeah, me. Yeah. Right. And people think that a lot though. So when I, when this happened, my friend had just actually passed away mm-hmm. and I was supposed to come back from New York that very next day to go to her funeral that mm-hmm. afternoon. Right. So I had a show at Stand Up New York that Friday. Mm -hmm. Auditions were Saturday morning. And I was going to go do my show, take the bus back, get here and go to her funeral, right? And she was always someone that kind of pushed my dreams and always was like, regardless of what people think, you know, you can do that. You know, whatever it is, you're always someone that, you know, Mm -hmm. she really was always inspired by the fact that I never listened to naysayers, right? Mm -hmm. So I had that in the back of my mind. And my friend was like, Frankie, come do the uh, the Stand Up New York auditions of this weekend. You're here. Just come do it. And I was like, no. I'm, I'm going to do this show. And she kept kind of pestering me. I was like, you know what? Fine. I'll come sleep in the street with you and we'll go to the audition. When I don't pass, I'm going to get on the bus and I'm going to go home. And so I'm sitting in line. I'm not even tripping off of the, I'm just like, I just want to, I'm just sitting here trying to nap on this blow up mattress yeah, yeah. on the streets of New York. And so I, I take, it. right. I know you know one. what I'm talking yeah, about. Too. Absolutely. Wow. I'll tell you that. Yeah. You sleep in the streets, yeah. like straight like that. You sleep in the streets. 24 right? hours, yeah. 24 mm-hmm. hours. Yeah. And I had a stuffed animal. My friend brought me a stuffed animal. So I'm laying there with the stuffed animal, right? Mm. And then I'm thinking of what I'm, I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to trip. I'm going to go up. I'm going to say some stuff I think is funny. And we'll see what's ha- what happens. And by the time I got in there, I had already polished the 60 seconds, right? That I had been thinking about. And that was a, the opening joke was a was a, a rape slavery joke. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You can say that. Oh, I can say that. Okay. So the joke was I had just got my DNA done. I was like, yeah, I just got my DNA results. Apparently I'm 25% Irish, which is strange, right? And I said, but then I remembered I got my DNA done at 23 and me too. And it leveled, right? <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. Is that right? Crazy. Right, Crazy. Okay. right. And the whole panel, literally, hilarious. they were banging on the table. 23 and me too. too. Right. Wow. Right. So that was it right there. Yeah. And Michael Cox, I don't know if he's, how much time was yeah. that? You know Michael, yeah. yeah. And he was just like he he was just over it, you That's know. It. And then I hit some other um, so, jokes about me being bisexual that I'm bi, and my husband's questioning um. my authority all the time. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. That's the one right there. See, what I'm saying. <laughs> Tell him to say the rest of it. I, I you can't, can't say the cuss I can't, I can't remember the rest of it. Can't remember the rest. What, what is it? 
Go out and get me a. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said, you know, uh, I try to, you know, to, to calm down and let them know, you know, we're all on the same team. We right. want the same thing right. in this marriage. Yes, we do. And that's another woman. So go find me one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> right. So, so anyway, so that said, it landed. I got like three applause breaks in just that one minute. Wow. Right. And I came off and I felt actually pretty confident like I was going to pass through. And I was like, you know what? Nothing's anything until it's something. So I'm not even going to trip. We go outside. Sure enough, my name's on the thing. I'm like, oh, wow. cool. So I pass through. Now I get two minutes Mm -hmm. okay so i just added i added my roommate joke on the end of those jokes so i did the same thing and then added the roommate joke on it right and that slayed right and to the point where you were able to do the roommate joke and i cut it all up i cut it all up yeah i cut it down to just like it was boom 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 right it was very 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 quick obviously because it's two minutes so one of like the main lady from bc after that set she was like oh my gosh i am telling every that roommate joke it's like the kaiser soze of jokes (laughs) It's amazing. <laughs> Not the kinds of the kinds of stuff saying jokes, right? So then we had to wait. So then they we had to call the next day to find out if we made it to the semifinals, mm. right? And I'm at my I'm crashing at my friend's house, the one who and I didn't go to the funeral, obviously. And I'm like, you know what, Keisha would want me to do this because this is, I feel like this I'm gonna make it. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm gonna win. Is what at I, that point you I, are, yeah. I feel like I'm gonna, I was gonna win. I was like I could win win it, right? Yeah. So they gave us a number like call tonight at like. 10 o'clock at night, mm-hmm. whatever the time is, and see if you made it to the semifinals. I wasn't going to call. I didn't call, to be real honest. I, didn't, I was like, I'm, I'm not even, tri- I'm not calling. I'm going to take my bus home tomorrow. I'm not tripping. So I'm laying in my friend's bed, about to go to sleep, and she comes busting in the room. Frankie, did you call? I said, no, I'm not calling. If I made it, I'll find out. Somebody will tell me. Mm. And she goes, call. And I was like, no. And she goes, well, look on Facebook. And I looked, and everybody's like, congratulations, Frankie French, you're making it to the semifinals. And that's how I found out. Wow. I was like, oh, dope. So the next night, we did the semifinals, leveled it. So it's one night after the next. <laughs> For the first three rounds, right. it's boom, boom, boom. Right. right. It's all that weekend. You right. know, okay. yeah, you go through the whole thing that weekend. And uh, Mike E. Winfield, who is the bomb. Man, I, that's Mike. Boy, Mike E. Winfield's funny. Yeah. You know, no. Mike, you never seen Mike no. E. He well, was in the show? He won last year. Oh, okay. Which is okay. also a good story because okay. I told y'all I wasn't going to do it right no more. So I was in LA when he won. Okay. Just so happy. I was yeah, going, I yeah, went to do yeah. Marcella's show, you know, Marcella mm-hmm. at a, at Hollywood Improv. Yeah, I went yeah. down there to do her show. <clears throat> and I was hanging out at the, the Laugh Factory. Okay. And I see Mike standing outside, right? And I said, uh, and I, and I just watched him perform and he, when I say that, that boy is nice yeah, with he, that. He is nice. He's vicious. So I went out, I hurried outside because I want to just talk to the brother. Like, look, yeah. you, you are thorough. Like you yeah. are bomb. Right. So yeah. we're just standing outside, chopping it up. And a comic walks by and says, uh, now remember this is last year. He says, congratulations. And keeps on. He's like, oh, thanks, man. And keeps on moving. I said, I said, what was that? What's he congratulating you for? <laughs> he said, oh, I just won stand up NBC. <laughs> I said, really? I said, oh, I said, you know what? I've auditioned for four years. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna audition next year, but I, I but I, then I, I got discouraged and, and didn't plan to. Mm-hmm. And I said, I'm gonna audition next year and I'm gonna win. He said, Do it. You did it. And fast forward to the semifinals. He's closing out the semifinals. And after he comes off, so they NBC had me close the semifinals. And after and he went after me, right? Mm-hmm. And afterwards, he said he comes out. He said, Frankie. He said, Damn. He said, you made me have to put in some work. He said, you blew that thing all the way out. Good. That's okay. It. He said, I really had a tough time coming behind you. I That's said, shut it. up. I was like, shut up. No, you didn't. So a year ago, we took this p- a picture. Yeah. That And so I was like, I said, do you remember? He said, I remember meeting you. You told me outside the Laugh Factory you were going to win. Nice. He said, you could do it. Okay. You know, so we took another quick selfie. So I posted about it was like, you know, 2018, 2019. Yeah. I thought that was a cool story. Okay. Right? It was a good story. And then fast forward to, they were like, you know, we'll let How you... much time was between that and the finals? Oh, so that was August, I want to say, November. The finals were November. Okay. And I remember when you went to do the finals, mm-hmm. you were like, I did it. I yeah, won I was the like, whole thing. I said, not, shut no. up. I said, I think I did. Did you say I did? Yeah, because I didn't know. You don't oh, know. Okay. We didn't know until like said, weeks I, later. I the whole thing. But if, when I say, you know when you're on stage, you know, Eddie, mm. when you're on stage. Yeah. And everything is firing exactly right. Awesome. And it's That's not good. even you doing it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I'm talking yeah. about? It's really yeah. not you doing it. Yeah. You know, God, it's just it's like, like boop. 
Yeah, this is a great story about manifesting also, yes. because despite how you approached it, mm -hmm. you made the decision and put it out in the universe that I was going to win year before. Yes. And actually several years before, because right. you kept doing it every year yeah. and then you said it and then you changed your mind and right. the universe said, uh-uh. Uh -uh. Yeah. Look and at that. Right. The universe kind of kicked Look me that. over and kicked me into that line. And, and you won. It. It. And I won. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, I believe in the power. Of I manifest. You know what? I, I manifest it right now. I'm I'm up for a part that I really oh, want. We already. We already decided. It's, yeah, it's, it's, we already it's decided. all happening. That's yeah, it's we got. Happening. We have another story. We got to save for another show. Yeah, because when we manifested Oprah, remember. That yes. was a trip. Yeah. We did. And Oprah said my name on the stage. She called me out. She gave me a shout out mm -hmm. on the stage from the Verizon. Oh, yeah. Center. I remember you telling me that. Yeah. Said, Oprah said my name. <laughs> yeah. It was so Anyway, yeah. I am so proud. Thank you Thank so you. much, Frankie Knuckles. Of course. Anytime. And this is my home. I am looking forward to all that is to be in uh, your world in our world yes yeah because me and eddie are going everywhere yes we are. yes please please yeah. i need my family with yeah, me at the grand yeah, you know, yeah i trust y'all all, all kinds of yeah. stuff yes we're gonna be winning we're just gonna be in the room so um eddie yes ma'am we got five minutes okay what you want to talk about well um well no it's well one thank you for coming oh my god thank right. you for having me thank you um I think that we need to talk about, let's see, Black History Month is coming. Mm. Um, so we're going to have some different, I'm going to bring some different segments to our Black shows history. next month. <laughs> and uh, we're going to start implementing relationship advice from Eddie. I love that. Yeah, you so. got to have me back as a relationship, <laughs> as a relationship yeah, guru. Yeah, yeah, you are. Have me yes, back. You are. And we're going to do some different stuff. Um, I, I think that um, it's going to be a great year for stand-up comedy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, DC you comedy. serve as a great example of what you can do coming out of this market today. Sure. Yeah. So the youngest that's listening, everybody that's in the game, the standard has been set. Mm -hmm. Okay. Out of the DC market, we strive for excellence, right? Yeah. Um, uh, we're known for that, right? Right. Absolutely. We are known for that. We when when somebody goes, they go. Right. Right. So it's no half doing anything. You know what I mean? So Wanda the, Sykes, Chappelle, Martin man, Lawrence, man. Tommy Davidson. Yeah, I can. You know, you can Frankie go. French. Yeah, yeah, you can go on, 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 oh on. I just want to say, um, just a little dig to the haters. <laughs> oh, remember, remember, haters. remember that. Remember that. Oh, 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 oh. what? Send it my way, please. Oh, I, I will. Remember I that will. boy I was will. trying to shut you down. I can't even. You talking about Sean Joyce? Is that his name? Yeah, his name is yeah, Sean Joyce. Trying yeah. to shut her down. Trying to tell her she he he. Talk about the open mic dude. dude. No, yeah, him. that dude. The white dude that runs underground. He put underground he comedy. He put a bad bone out <laughs> on her. Yeah. And he had people go online trying to shut you down. Yeah. And look at God. Yeah. Look at God. Why, why do we have this? But we, but everybody but it's hate is hate, hate. It's hate. <coughs> and and you want some more to what that people when they hate like that never have any good luck. You right. They never have any good luck. You right. And but they, comics they, allow they, what they do is fuel your your flame. <laughs> comics allow it to happen though because nobody stops his negativity. That's nobody. True. They, That's true. They still work with them. Yeah. They still give them yeah. their time. But you it's know? not just him. It's him and, and businesses. Yeah, for sure. That that would. But see, I don't us. think that the businesses are privy to like again, the businesses are just about. How many drinks and chicken wings I'm selling? Right. right? To Agreed. some extent, no, Eddie, no, that's no, the case. Re really? I'll explain. Go okay. ahead. Okay. Okay. I'm just I'm, I'm just here. looking at it from 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 a business perspective. That's small potatoes. Ultimately. Right. But when they want to control you, yeah, and they do that a lot with urban comics. They do that a lot, especially the established uh, white-owned comedy clubs. They try to control you. They try not just locally. I'm talking about nationally. Yeah, okay, that's the a whole. Chains, that's a... Well, I'm talking about the businesses. No, and they I mean, want to decide. About, I was just talking about with this guy. In no, particular. forget him. He's a nobody. Okay, good. And I, don't, I didn't even know his name. Okay. Who is he? <laughs> what you say his name was? Don't say it again. Who cares? Right. Listen. So. <laughs> 
in the broad scheme of things, though, that is the thing that we have to address. In you know, as a unified force, we We're, have to. Okay. Because um, if you decide when you when you become Kevin Hart, mm -hmm. if you decide that you're going to continue to work with establishments like that, and they got their foot on the Frankie Frenches of the world as they're trying to ascend, mm -hmm. it's not okay. Right. It's not okay. We have to take a, a concerted stand, position a to change stand, yeah. the game. No. The, okay, the only concerted effort in that in the business that we can take is opening up our own franchise. Why do you think that? Because why do you think you that? Do, because if we you bring don't, the money, we bring the money. You cannot tell people how to run their no, business. No, but you no, tell them no, how agreed. to manage you. Right, agreed. Yeah, they I come can, and deal yeah. with us like that. Right, that's that's I agree with that. It's not telling people how to run their business. Okay. It's telling you how you're gonna treat me. me. I right, agree. I agree. And collectively, I can't watch them treat you like that and continue to patronize them. Okay, mm -hmm. I agree so with that. So that's I agree. what I'm saying. I agree with that. But ultimately, in order for that to to last over time. And that sentiment to last over time, we must own ownership. No, we do not. Absolutely. We must own our, our franchises individually. So it's time for us to wrap it up. Okay. And it's getting heated. We yeah. can pick this up next week. I see you in the park. I love lot. you. I love you. Uh, too. Eddie B. I love you. Too. And, I love, and you, guys I love you, Frankie, Frankie French. French. Thank you. Come on, y'all. Hey, yeah. hey, money, money, money. Money, money, money. money. Thank you. Yeah. Thank That's great. Thank, thank you for having me. Manifesting wins around here. Backstage so beyond the line. Shane has DC touched radio. one another. So collectively, we're going to be multi billionaires. Yeah, I mentioned that. Okay. And Shane, my apologies. I hope you've marked all of those times. So, <laughs> thank you. And for now we raise them. You are listening to Backstage Beyond the Laughs with Nikki Moore and Eddie Bryant on DC Radio and 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 DC Radio and WHUR ninety six. No, not WHUR ninety six point three HD four. HD four. That's there we where go. we are. I didn't know what you meant. Yeah, I was trying I'm to sorry. Talk to you yes, you did. <laughs> okay, we gotta get better with that, but yes. we still we fly. We fly this is together. great. Thank you guys we for having me. We fly together. And, and follow me for, on social media comment, at Frankie French. You gotta go get them hooks. Well, I'm, I'm not going. I've already missed my appointment. It's all good. No, I I do. I surgery, but it's okay. I've just missed my surgical appointment, but that's fine. Okay, Myra. <laughs> All right, I'm Nikki Moore, and you can find Frankie French. She's Frankie French, F R A N Q I. There we go. French right. on everything. Yep. So Eddie Bryant, That's comedian right. Eddie Bryant on Facebook, Instagram, Instagram everywhere. Yep. I'm Nikki Moore. Uh, follow me, Nikki Moore. That's what one K Nick and I K I Moore funny. Come get it, y'all. We'll be back here next week with a whole new show. Let's go. All right, that thank you, so Shane. Good. That was fun. <coughs> Turn this off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that okay, was great, bye, you guys. bye, Facebook. Great show. See you guys later. Frankie, you got to come back. Yeah. When are we leaving? You leave Sunday. I leave Tuesday. Yeah, I leave Sunday. Tuesday. All yeah, right. I'm going to Germany. For what? I got a show. Oh, yeah. You went to Australia last year, right? Yeah, yeah. No, oh, no, no, uh, Y'all, we should make a pack. What's that? What's this? This is January the 30th. This time next year, <coughs> we're going to be somewhere together making money. Doing, doing the yeah. craft. Okay? Yeah. Comedy, <coughs> television. Yeah. Movies. Yes, yeah. all of it. January 30, 2021.